So what's making the inside dynamo spin against the mantle? You're talking molten lava, not frictionless. Not frictionless at all. Solar winds in our solar system, the gravitational pull of the Earth. You see, here I have two eggs. And don't worry, I'm not going to throw them at you guys. <laughs> that would be a first. Eh? The presenter throws eggs. <laughs> Bad crowd. <laughs> here I have a hard-boiled egg. egg. Fairly, you know, constant density through and through. Okay? Here, an unboiled egg. High level of viscosity in the middle. Okay? I'm going to spin the hard boiled egg on the floor. Now imagine this hard boiled egg was in a frictionless environment or a very low friction environment. It could spin, oops, let me try that again. It could spin constantly and homogeneously as it does here and slow down, but that's mostly because of friction on the floor, right? Now let's imagine that it was frictionless, but uh, you could see how that could be possible. But now, let's try to spin an egg that has high viscosity at its core. It stops very quickly. Most of the angular momentum is absorbed by the viscosity of the central core of the egg. Galaxies are just like a non-boiled egg. It has all sorts of density, plasma density change, all sorts of friction, and all sorts of different levels of viscosity, and so is the center of the Earth. There is actually currently no appropriate geological description on how the moment of inertia of our inner core of the Earth occur. How do we get a magnetic field and what's spinning that dynamo got to be something forcing things to spin. The new solution that we wrote detached the frame of reference from the rotating metric so that we have an appropriate description of the physics at hand. And the result is that you have torque and Coriolis forces applied to the system directly from the space-time manifold. So let's go back to the analogy of Einstein's field equation of the trampoline, trampoline curving to generate gravity. So basically Einstein said, gravity is the result of space-time curving like the surface of a trampoline. And basically what I say, what we say in this paper is that yes, and when space-time curves, it doesn't just curve, but it curls, just like water going down the drain, and that generates spin, angular momentum. And that's the source of the spin of all things.